This video is Mobile HF Wiring Part 3. Warning, we're talking about electricity. Use proper precaution. Let's talk about wire termination. Wire terminations are an important part of any mobile installation, yet it is the one item most often short-circuited. Especially important are the heavy-duty leads directly from the battery or jump point to where the transceiver is located because it's often a necessity to transition between large and small gauges. While some folks use butt splices for the transitions, they are difficult to solder. And in some cases, mechanical clamping alone doesn't provide the best connections. Some of the best terminal devices are based around the Anderson power pole connectors, but a caveat or two are in order. First, some types are not completely sealed, so they need to be placed in such a manner to prevent any object from dropping on their potential exposed connector, however unlikely. Secondly, some of the various models are marketed using pre-installed cables, which are usually too short and require butt splices to attach them to the power source. Extending the cable's length also increases the I squared R losses. So proper sizing is important. If possible, choose one without a built-in primary cable and add your own in an exact length and size required. Power distribution blocks come in all shapes and sizes, mostly used in the car stereo industry, but will work in amateur radio applications as well. They come from basic blocks to ones with fuses and meters. The caveat on these is because they're using bare wire, they're prone to dirt and moisture. Whenever possible, I suggest using ring connectors rather than spade type connectors because they stay put even if the connector loosens. All connectors should be both crimped and soldered to ensure strength and a low resistive connection. It's also a good idea to use a star washer under the lug to ensure a tight connection. When using ring terminals, always use the rule of 45. 45 degrees maximum between the ring connections. Regardless of your connection type, inspection of all the wires and fuse holders should be carried out at least once a year. This may require removal and reinserting fuses in their fuse holder. This is especially important when using tubular fuses, housed in spring-loaded or inline holders. The inspection should also include looking at the discolored parts, which might indicate a loose connection or overload condition. Let's not forget, there is a need to use a master fuse mounted close to the battery. And if all else fails, talk to a mobile electronics certified professional or an ASE certified mechanic about your ham radio installation.